here. Hold on. Three, two. Thank you for joining us for the very legitimate two to three minute drills, Freddie. <laughs> we're cutting these down a little bit because we got James behind the scenes. And um, we're talking about the Pacific League uh, this week. We're now into week two of Pacific League play and Arcadia finally back on somewhat of the big stage here. They are going to Burroughs High to take on Burbank. Um, set it up, Fred. Well, it's a game they can't lose. You know, this is one of those games that they're 2-2, two and two, uh, the team that they're playing. They're both 2-2. Two and two, They're yeah. both 2-2. Two and two. Um, But the bigger games are going to be down the line against Crescenta Valley and I still think Muir. Um, not a lot has changed for me in terms of Arcadia. You know, they lost two step-up games. They lost a Cathedral and they lost a Hart. Um, so I, I don't know how that impacts what they're going to do in the Pacific League, what we think they can do later on in the playoffs. But these are the games, Aram, they can't afford to lose. You know, we had... Uh, Arcadia in our top ten early in the season for yeah. a reason. They do have a lot of weapons. Uh, you know, they do have Willanis, Whitener, and, and all of those guys. They have those transfers from Cathedral uh, that have played well. Um, they've just got to keep it rolling until they get to those big games. Uh, I'm not down on Arcadia because of their 2-2 two two record, although I think that a lot of people are. Yeah, uh, you know, those two step-up games, you know, um, you know, we talk about Hart being one of them. Arcadia lost 31-27 to Hart. Burbank lost 49-28 to Hart, so uh, hard to do comparative scoring sometimes in high school, but looks like Arcadia played them a little bit better. Yeah, uh, I, and think I, and I saw Cathedral last week, and, and they looked pretty legitimate despite losing to Division oh, One. Oh, yeah, did. right, yeah, but, you know, uh, whatever, I, you know, that Arcadia Move Cathedral ahead, game is minutes. something else. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> I think this game has a chance to be pretty close. Uh, you know, Burbank is one of the, the contenders in this league. Uh, along with Arcadia, Muir, and of course Crescenta Valley, the team to beat, as we found out last week. I think this game has a chance to be close, but I do favor Arcadia for the reasons that kind of Fred mentioned. They have these weapons that can change a close game into something else yeah. um, if, if they get going. Um, so I'm going to pick Arcadia yeah. here um, to, to move to 2-0 and in league. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, I'm going to pick Arcadia too because I think when you play those games like against Cathedral and against Hart and you lose them, I don't think mentally it does anything to a football to a football team because they know those were step-up games. They know if they won those games that they were going to, that, that it was going to, you know, it would, it would have been something that just sent them to another level. Yeah, I really just think been. I just think that, you know, they're going to be fine. I think they it's going to help them in the end and they're going to win this game. Wow, we both like Arcadia. We're, this is agreement, uh, uh, the agreement week, I guess. Um, okay, so we both have Arcadia in this game. Uh, this is going down at Burroughs again, 7 o'clock Friday night. James, uh, behind the scenes here. Uh, Taking Arcadia. Uh, Arcadia, wow. Three for Arcadia. Three for Arcadia. Taking Arcadia. Good God. Okay, so Burbank will be fully motivated. Get out there and support <laughs> the Apaches and Bulldogs.